Hi there, today I'm going to show you how easy it is to prepare and print a file for your Zoltrax M200. So, to start off, I'm just going to open up Z Suite. Okay, so then just drop your STL file into Z Suite, like so. And there you go. You can use these tools on the side just to um, take a look at it closer and check that it's all going to print okay. Uh, let's have a look, going a bit closer in. And that all looks fine. We shouldn't need support for this this file. So um, with all that in mind, you can you can resize it as well. Um, just go to this menu here, enter your desired percentage to scale it, and then just reset that. And then you have the option of save, saving these settings and coming back to them or printing. So if we select print and then the first thing you want to select is the material that you're going to print with. So ZABS in this case and then your layer thickness. And we're going to go with uh, 90 microns on this print. The next thing to check is the speed and then the infill there. You can see I've selected medium and then the support angle. We, we don't need supports for this one so we turn that off uh, but that basically you set it to the angle that you want it to start generating supports. And then that will just render everything out and generate your uh, Z code ready to, ready to uh, be printed. As you can see, it sliced it all up and created the um, the the, uh, the raft there. And you can use these different options to have another look at the file just to check that it's all okay. And you'll see any supports in this menu as well if they've been generated. And the little details along the bottom tell you exactly how long it's going to take and how much filament it's going to require, um, which is really useful. So once you're happy, just go save to print, uh, if we do that now. And then just give it a name and save it to your SD card. So now here's your file on the SD card, just put it in the front there, turn on the machine, just let it load up. And then in the menu, uh, you just go to Models and find the file that you've just created. In this case, it's called House. And select it, and then it'll begin heating up the bed and the nozzle as well. And this could take a little while, so uh, we'll just skip ahead. Right, now, the, now it's just about to uh, calibrate itself before it prints. It does this just by... Uh, touching down on the sensors on the perforated plate. So it goes down in the middle, just checks that it's all aligned correctly. And again, there. So the nozzle is fully up to temperature at this point. And then it just begins to print. As you can see, it's really squirting out quite a lot of uh, filament on these first few layers. And these just create a really solid foundation for the print on the uh, perforated bed. It just forces any any of that ABS down into the down into the holes and grips on really well. And this is the general pattern that it uses for its its rafts uh, with the Zortrax. And there you go. And you may have noticed that our nozzle is looking pretty grubby. Um, if you look at one of our other videos that we've uploaded, you'll be able to see how to clean this. Um, and there is a link in the description below this one. Right, and so let's uh, let's see what the print turned out like. And you get a scraper in the box of the M200, which is really useful actually for getting the prints off. Just want to give it a good. Scrape, being careful not to damage the print, and as you can see, it's come off quite nicely. 
and you can see the raft on the bottom there. Actually, you can just peel away. It'll be a little tricky. You make sure make, you want to make sure that you don't um, cause any damage to the bottom of the print. But um, the way Z Suite creates the raft, you actually get a pretty clean, clean breakaway. And there you go. Looking pretty good. You can also um, download and print this house yourself if you want. Um, we've uploaded it to Thingiverse, um, so feel free to check that out too. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, then please click to subscribe. For more information on the printers and materials we've used in this video, visit dream3d.co.uk.